Hello, welcome back. If you're after the OBD talk app, so you can look at your real-time information like this. So you've got rev, speed, coolant, uh, acceleration, throttle, boost. You can even scroll up and add your own. Um, you can get 0 to 60 times, quarter mile, eighth of a mile. Get the idea. It looks a lot like what you get in a Nissan GTR R35, that sort of style. So to do this, you need to go and download the, I've got the paid version of the OBD Talk app. So you get that from the Play Store. And what you also need is, you need one of these. It's just a Bluetooth dongle. It simply just plugs into your OBD port on your car. And then from that, it transmits information via Bluetooth to your radio and it gives you information off of the ECU. So you're basically your car's brain, your car's computer, engine computing unit, I don't know, computer unit, something like that. I don't know what ECU stands for. Anyway, so to get this to connect to your head unit, you simply have to plug it in down by your pedals here somewhere, like so. So I've plugged my um, OBD dongle thing into the port. You can't see it down there because it's too dark. But once you've done that, click on Bluetooth, go to your devices, find your OBD one that's just appeared, click on it, come out of it, your head unit will do the rest. Uh, right, go back into the app, find the app. So there is the app. You want to go down to settings, settings, go on OBD2 adapter settings, choose Bluetooth device, and then from here I've got my phone, my girlfriend's phone, and the OBD device. So you click on that, that's selected, and it should all lock into place as it were. So up here, you can see it, there's four flashing things, you've got satellite, a picture of a little mobile, I think, I don't know what the other one is, some sort of Bluetooth device. And then it keeps flashing with your car. Eventually, it will stop flashing like this, like that. So, I don't know if turning the ignition on helped, but I don't think you need to turn the ignition on for it to work, but I've just turned it on anyway. And from that, you can go to real-time information, all your other things I showed you earlier. And what also is cool is you can read any fault codes that are on your ECU. So at the moment, I've got a P0401 powertrain fault code, which means my engine management light is on, so that's not good. But from there, you can also clear them. So you click this little three dots. You can clear fault codes, freeze frame, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Or you can just Google them and um, web look up and you can see what the actual fault code means because powertrain P0401 might not mean a lot to you but I think I either have a faulty sensor or I just don't know what the problem is but I've replaced the part that it's told me to but it's come back on so so you can clear the fault code like that sending clear command clearing fault codes may take some time so the fault codes are now gone the light's still on but what I need to do to clear it properly is to turn the engine on and then it disappears gone see just like that uh, it will probably come on again because like I said it's a faulty sensor anyway hope that helped with all your queries or questions about how to set up your OBD port it doesn't have to be the one Enon supply I've got Enon head unit any OBD2 Bluetooth dongle should work providing you got the same app as me I think it was about three pound maybe off of the play store so yeah not bad